It took a while, but I finally started watching The Man in the High Castle, that Amazon TV series that came out back in 2015. Remember 2015? A time without Trump, Brexit or the coronavirus. It feels like a lifetime ago. So this show came out 5 years ago, and I've always been meaning to watch it and see if it's as interesting as its premise. The premise being the victory of the Axis over the Allies in World War II and the conquest of the United States by Nazi Germany and the Empire of Japan. And you know what? This episode was really fucking boring. This is one of the least engaging and energetic pieces of fiction I have consumed recently. The entire thing just bored the shit out of me. It's not hard to imagine someone giving up halfway through and never watching this show again. They completely wasted the premise of what if the other side won World War II and conquered the United States. And that's a good premise. People love the crap out of stories about World War II. A show with this premise should be as or more popular than Game of Thrones, but it's not. And if this episode is a model for the rest of the series, it's not hard to figure out why. This shit is boring. I'm 10 minutes away from the ending and I feel like I've watched nothing. No information of significant importance was transmitted during the whole episode. The characters they introduce, who I think will become protagonists, are bland pieces of nothingness. The dialogue is on the same level, the exciting events that took place here, the episode that is supposed to get you interested in the story as a whole and make you want to watch more, I don't even know what to say. The most significant event was the movie about the Nazis losing the war, and this is a terrible plot point. I hate the fact that this is an alternative history show where the Nazis won the war and the best thing he has going for it is a movie about the Nazis losing the war. Talk about lack of imagination. What's the point of telling a story based on something that didn't happen and then make it a plot point to keep reminding the audience that the thing that didn't happen might have actually happened in another reality or some shit. We already know the Nazis lost, that's our reality. There doesn't need to be a reminder of that in a show like this. A show where the entire point is to experience a universe where the Nazis won the war. I just hope as the plot moves forward and we learn more about the man in the high castle, it turns out he either doesn't know where the movies are from or that they are fake. I hope they don't pull some contrived bullshit with time travel or other realities. My god, this first episode really made me reconsider my love for television. It's astonishing there are four seasons of this shit. At some point this has to get better, right? I hope so. Oliver. I remember that the main dude was a spy. I actually watched this episode for the first time when it was released in 2015, but all I remember was this piece of information. And I think I can guess why I didn't watch any more episodes. Not a bad moment, but certainly doesn't make up for all the worthless scenes that came before, which were pretty much all of them. It's less of a big twist and more of a, what about that? Turns out the main guy is one of the bad guys. That's something I guess. It's not enough to make me want to watch more episodes though. I am going to watch more, but that's because I've already downloaded all 4 seasons and I don't want to delete those files until I'm absolutely sure this show is worthless. Anyway... You have a problem with beating a man to death? No. Overgroup, I'm sure. I know this scene was supposed to be edgy and make audience members uncomfortable because of how evil the Nazis can be, but in reality this scene is just plain stupid. This guy was ordered to keep torturing this other guy until he said something. He wasn't asked to beat him to death. Beating him to death defeats the purpose of asking him questions which was the entire goal of this operation. And this guy already knows the answers. He should have just told this other guy to beat him to death as an example for the rest of the rebels. This isn't edgy or mind-blowing stuff, it's generic crap you find in a dozen other mediocre TV shows. I don't have anything else to say. This episode was a complete waste of time. I hope the next one is better. Anyway, see you next time.